Hello guys, how are you doing today? My name is Ed Green. I'm here to talk to you about preparedness, being prepared for shift. What does that mean? Well, first of all, have to be well rested. If you are well rested, it goes a long way. What are some other things that you need to be prepared for a security job? Well, should have a minimum of two working pens, should have a flashlight, a working flashlight, should have a working wristwatch, which I have. And as a security officer, you must have two documents on you at all times. Can't be left in your locker, has to be on you, especially if the state does an audit. One would be your uh, security license. The other would be your manager card. Now I know you're looking at this kind of crazy. This is my first manager card when I first started with the company. I still have it and it actually is in pretty good shape. Now they make it out of kind of plastic material, but I keep this as a relic just to let me know where I started from and where I am today. So must have as a security officer, your class D security license and your manager card. Well, what are some other things that you need to be prepared for an event? got to look at the weather. You got to know, is it going to be hot? Is it going to be cold? What temperature are you going to be dealing with? Because if it is cold, guess what? It's up to you to be prepared. And that could be in the form of having uh, extra clothing, having long sleeves on to protect you from the chill. Could also be having a jacket. But I do need to talk to you about having any kind of coat jacket, whether it's raincoat or whether it's a coat to keep you warm. Florida State Statute 493 states that the outermost garment must be the uniform with, with a embroidered patch and the company name. So if you have a jacket, you have to get a shirt that's a little bit bigger that goes over your jacket. That's per state law. That's not my law. That's the state of Florida's law. So you need these things in order to be prepared. If it is going to be a very hot day here in Florida, we have some extreme weather with hot days. If you know you have a tendency to burn, you may want to bring stuff like sun uh, tan lotion, uh, sunscreen, things that's going to protect you. If it's an event where it's a concert, the thing that I always tell people, Although we give you earplugs, bring your own. You never know when a company, an organization may run out of earplugs. But if you know there's gonna be loud noise, bring your own. If we have them, keep yours in your pocket, you have it for another day. What's some other things that you need to be prepared? Well, hydration. Anyone that knows me knows the two things that I preach the most is be hydrated, and rest your body. So, have something to drink. Yes, you want to rely on your company to bring you something, but from time to time, they may not have it. So, always take care of yourself. Bring hydration. It may be uh, food if it's going to be a long day. Make sure you bring something that can hold you over. If the company provides food for you, so be it. You keep your lunch for another day. But if they don't, you will not be in a panic and be hungry and have to go through all those pains, okay? So all these things you need to be prepared. I wanna tell you a little story, quick story. When I first started with this organization, they had about 50 jackets. It was a bowl game, Camping World Stadium. Back then, it used to be called Citrus Bowl. It was my first event, and they gave me a brown polo shirt, short sleeve. It was a very thick polo, but as cold as it was, it was not enough to keep me warm. I didn't know that I could bring my own jacket. What they told me was, you cannot have a jacket on. You must wear our shirt. So, I ain't telling you, prepare yourself. Have a shirt that's a little bit bigger to go over your jacket. But I went on post with that brown polo. And it was 
very cold out there. And I was cold to the bone. But being an ex-military man and being a professional, I stood my post. So I'm telling you things that wasn't told to me when I first started. Always be prepared. Take care of yourself. Any needs that you may have, make sure you bring them. That could also go in the form of a portable phone charger. Although we're not supposed to have our phone out on a post, especially to video or watch an event, there comes time where you may need to call someone in an emergency situation. Because truth be told, not everyone will have a radio. For the most part, you may, but you may not. You need your phone for an emergency. So be prepared.